So what I want to show you in this video is how to remotely uninstall a Windows 32 app bit application um, and there are some prerequisites to uh, doing this. So what we'll do is we'll swap over to our management workstation here. I've logged in to Endpoint Manager for the tenant. You'll see that I've already created um, an app deployment policy for Adobe Acrobat Reader. So what we want to do is we want to configure this so that it will uninstall the application. Now, when we created that uh, policy initially, if we go in here and have a look at its properties, uh, you'll see down here that we have the ability, if we edit the program options, you'll see that we've specified here the uninstall command. So we're going to need to have that in our policy. So generally when you set up a policy to deploy an application, it will also require you to put in the uninstall command to allow you to go through this process. So we've gone through and we've deployed the Acrobat uh, program already uh, using this method. What we want to do now is we want to uh, basically uh, go in and we want to uh, remove that. So we have this in place and if we scroll down um, the bottom here and we have a look at the assignments for this policy. Now what we did when we deployed the policy is we went in and made it a required uh, application so uh, that it would be pushed out uh, forcibly onto that workstation. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete that so we don't require that any longer. And then what we're going to do is basically go down here to the uninstall capability and again we're just going to add a familiar group here that includes the machine that we want to uninstall it from. So we'll select the users there, go select. So what I've done is I've changed the deployment policy from requiring the application to uninstalling. And all that was is basically uh, an, ins an assignment process to do that as, you as you've just seen. So if I now review and save that, I will update that policy will be updated. And at the next polling, it will go out and do that on the workstation. So back here on the client workstation, what we'll do is we will go into our uh, Azure AD options here and we'll try and uh, force a sync to hopefully speed up this process. We do that by going into the accounts, going to access work or school, select the Azure AD and then info. And if we scroll down here, you'll see that there is uh, basically the option here to do a device sync. So we're going to select that to hopefully speed up the deployment of the policy so we can see it here. That will take a moment or two, uh, obviously, to complete. And then it will basically look to do an uninstall. So just to verify at this point in time, if I want to go and run Acrobat, you'll see that the Acrobat reader is installed on this machine. So what we'll do here to uh, see what's happening in the background, we will go in and run our task manager just go in here and uh, keep an eye on things and uh, basically see you know what's going on here we should see that the uninstall process does kick off and then eventually uh, the acrobat will be removed from this machine all via policy so what i'll do is i just pause the video and let that process complete and we'll come back and have a look at it um, as it completes all right, so we will see here that we get the notification that our uh, Intune software distribution uh, service has kicked off and the pr uninstalling process will uh, basically now commence. We'll see we have our uh, Microsoft management service there uh, running in the background and that will take care of the uh, uninstall for us. So we'll just wait a moment or two for that to complete. We can see that Windows installer uh, again is in there and it's doing an uninstall obviously of uh, Acrobat, the icon has now disappeared, so that has been uh, successfully uninstalled. We probably should get a notification down here again, but let's go in and just make sure that uh, we no longer have access to uh, our Acrobat reader. So if we do a search, you'll see that it's no longer uh, basically on the machine. It's only available as a web search, so it has completely uninstalled. We look at that notification that came through. So you'll see here that uh, our Adobe Acrobat has indeed uh, been uninstalled. And just to verify 100%, let's go in and have a look at our uh, C drive here, make sure that the program is not installed. So if we go into uh, program files there, again, there's no uh, Acrobat in there. If we go into our x36, uh, we do see the Adobe uh, directory and the reader directory. But when we go in there, you'll see that there is 
no executable so it has uh, removed that left the directory structure in place as part of that standard install so what we did was that we basically already had a policy in place so we had this adobe acrobat reader policy uh, in place and we'd already gone in and configured basically how it does the install and, and part of that was also how it does the uninstall and then all we've done is to actually uninstall it we've gone into the assignments here and put in the group of users under the assignments option there and then waited for that to sync the policies and work its way through the environment so really it's that straightforward to do and generally what you're going to do is you're going to uh, do this in a manner that you're going to set up a policy to install a Windows 32 application and then you will also use that same policy just change the assignments to do uh, the uninstall uh, later but if you want you could create a custom policy just to do the uninstall it's just simply a matter of uh, assigning the appropriate machine or users to that location and that process will kick off the real key thing here is to make sure that you get the right commands obviously to install and uninstall uh, from the vendor or the Win32 app uh, so that it will execute that process uh, as expected. But once you put all that in, put it in as an Intune policy and you can then see how easy it is to not only deploy but also uh, remove our Win32 application. So hopefully you've got some benefit and better understanding about how this process completes using Intune. And I thank you very much for watching the video.